hello friends uh, today in this video i'll show you uh, how you can uh, you know automatically download all your uh, models for the for your workflow from hugging face so you might have seen like when you are working with uh, 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 a complex workflow or big uh, workflow so it is kind of like uh, difficult to you know download all the models for the workflow let's say i have this uh, workflow from kj's uh, github repo for yn 2.1 uh, model so you can see there are multiple models here here and there are multiple lots of models here and you might miss also sometimes like if uh, it is a big workflow it is difficult to find out how, how many models are there so i have developed one uh, custom node to you know automatically find and download all your models from the workflow so i will just uh, show you like uh, what it does then it will be little uh, clear like uh, what i am saying so for this workflow you can see i have this uh, all these models uh, umt5 xxl wan 2.1 <coughs> and i will show you like uh, you know the models folder so in my model folder i don't have anything at this moment downloaded so if i show you the lora folder there is nothing you can basically see the and if i show you cliff folder there is nothing so i will download the all the models uh, for this workflow and uh, i will show you how to do it so i have uh, created this uh, uh custom node uh, this is the custom node and i will paste the url also so what you have to do like you have to you know copy the uh, git clone url and uh, just come inside your custom node folder and here git clone it so it's a very small module uh, custom node this is this is a very small module and you can basically uh, quickly install all the uh, dependencies so i'll then once i git clone it i'll just you know uh, install the requirements okay it is done and now i can see uh, let me check if it is installed here uh, inside custom node i can see it is uh, installed and uh, now what i have to do like uh, you know i have to you know get the url of the uh, of the workflow like where my workflow is uh, located so the workflow is in this uh, folder so this is my when uh, workflow i'll just copy the path and this is my workflow uh, let let's uh, wait for this one okay i have installed it uh, the custom node let me just uh, restart it so two thing like uh, you have to you know get the uh, path of the uh, workflow like a copy path you can just uh, click and right click and copy path and you have to provide the you know the uh, the model path like where your all the model folders are so you have to provide the path of this uh, model folder uh, that's it so uh, the, the the workflow runs on two step first step is like it will you know find out all the models from the workflow so here you have to provide the workflow path here i guess already it is uh, given but uh, still i will just uh, remove it and i'll add it and uh, i have kept the model folder path as a default uh, like this uh, slash workflow slash compui slash models so this is the uh, folder path of this uh, model folder so once you you know uh, run this workflow i will you know delete this one 
this one already had my uh, details uh, so I'll just delete and create a new one just to show you and you will enable the fast step first so once if I click on run you will see like uh, it it will read the workflow JSON file and it will automatically you know extract all the uh, models name from the workflow and after that what it does like uh, I have kept the you know it's kind of like I am yet to complete the uh, custom node so for now there's uh, you, uh, you have to do so little bit of manual modification so on in this step what is happening like uh, you know it will try to search all it will it will you know extract all the model names and after extracting all the model names it will automatically you know try to uh, map the models into the respective folder uh, like for this one you can see this is the upscale model and it has you know rightly uh, mapped to the upscale model folder and this is the second one you can see open clip this one goes to uh, e, the clip folder and this one VAE goes to the VAE folder so it has you know correctly uh, mapped all the models to uh, respective folders but there are chances like it can also you know uh, map to the wrong folder as well because uh, I am using some library to you know map the uh, models uh, based on the names to you know automatically map to the folders but there are chances like it can be wrong but most of the you know uh, guess will be correct so for, for that reason actually I have you know kept two steps so what you have to do like from here you have to copy this uh, path and the folder the structure is something like for each of the model uh, it, it is you know keeping the model and the uh, folder name inside one bracket and it is separated by this uh, three uh, this uh, I, uh, this uh, tilt character so once the first step is done I will just disable the first step and the, on the second step what you have to do like uh, you know you have to you know paste it here and after pasting so this is the text box you can take any text box and you have to here you know just correct the folder path like umt5 xxl this should go inside clip so i'll make it clip and this one is upscale is correct and open clip this one clip it is correct when vae this goes to vae and there are no duplicates so i'll just you know update the code to remove the duplicate entries and flux smith goes to this is a lora so it goes to lora's folder so i i thought of adding checkbox but for that actually uh, i need to you know uh, de develop i mean uh, write the code few more code i have to write so i will do that later and this one goes to lora's folder and these two actually it will automatically get downloaded so i'll just you know remove this one flux dev goes to uh, checkpoint and on this one goes to your uh, unit so you can see the workflow and you can you know for, uh, find out like uh, which uh, um, uh, models uh, goes to which folder and then uh, on this workflow what happens like this code it will you know automatically search all these models in hugging face repo and it will try to download match uh, the which one uh, should get downloaded and it will you know download the models in, in into the respective folders like uh, for example for umt5 xxl it will you know search in hugging face like where the model is and then it will if it finds any uh, any any uh, repo where the model is so it will download this model into this clip folder so uh, i will just show you like uh, you can see the clip folder at this moment if i show you uh, it is totally empty the workflow you, you will see like it will uh, automatically everything will get downloaded 
so there is one more option i have kept like in case you know uh, sometimes like if the repo does not have the uh, some configuration files like yml files so it it may not you know come up on the hugging face search so in that case like you can also manually uh, provide the you know uh, github uh, hugging face repo id like this let's say for kj's yn model i saw like uh, it is not able to find out the kj's repo uh, from hugging face search so for that you can you know manually also give the repo I, uh, id here like for kj's one i have given uh, comma separated like this one uh, like this you can give the uh, repo ids here so that you know the code will search from this repo as well like if it is not able to find from anywhere so it will search on this repo as well so i have given this kj is uh, uh, repo id and uh, one more repo id also, also i have given and once you enter this so you have to you know click on run and it will automatically download all the models listed here and at the same time like if there is any error so it will you will you know get to see the update here so this is the kind of status it will uh, show here so it is uh, downloading and it will take some time to download all the models and you can see the progress here like if something gets downloaded you can see here so if i just refresh see 25 second ago this one i think this something is getting downloaded here and uh, you can see uh, it, it, it is uh, running now 33 percent mm, let, let's see like how many models get downloaded so i'm yet to you know complete the code once i uh, complete the uh, code it uh, I, I will try to i will add like uh, uh, mm, few check boxes as well like to you know automatically uh, uh, check box and uh, download uh, sorry drop down buttons so that you know you can select the folder and you can check uh, check or uncheck uh, which models you want to download or don't want to download and at the same time like uh, i'll try to you know keep the make the uh, node much more interactive and uh, user friendly so for now like i i just developed this much so but this is a very handy tool like you can you know otherwise it becomes very difficult to download the models so that's why i made this uh, custom node and there is one more custom node which uh, is i have developed to you know uh, download the models directly like uh, if you manually if you want to download any models so auto download there is a, another one like auto download models so what this this more one this node will do like you have to you know provide the repo id uh, like the kj is um, uh, hugging face repo id and the model name you have to provide here and the path like uh, where in which folder you want to you know download the model and you can you know add this to some any display any 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 uh, uh, display text or display any so you can add it to anything like to see the update and you can run the workflow it will uh, you know automatically download the uh, model like this is to you know download one single model at a time and this one is to you know download all the models from workflow automatically so it is still running i can see it is still running and i i hope to see yeah see uh, already some models got downloaded see this one emt5 xxl 10 gigabyte it is downloaded and uh, this is the open clip xm xlm rabarta this is also downloaded and i see if there is anything else uh, uh, this one is 20 second 26 second ago and yeah here also i can see upscale model uh, this one got downloaded and unit also i think unit is getting downloaded so the vae also i can see yeah yeah vae also it is downloaded
uh, let me get uh, get uh, let's uh, uh, this workflow get completed and then uh, you can see the update also like how many models got updated uh, this is not actually i mean uh, this is kind of like a work in progress so kind of it is uh, uh, like uh, there are a few more changes needs to be done so one thing is like uh, when the you know uh, model uh, it is searching for the model so it is kind of searching on hugging face and uh, it is picking the first uh, whatever result is coming on the uh, uh, search so it just uh, picks the first one and which sometimes may not be correct let's say like you are searching for some lora or some uh, uh, flux dev model and multiple people have you know up uploaded uh, the model in their hugging face repo so on search like uh, whatever comes first with generally like uh, the uh, the popular one comes first but in case any other models is coming on the you know uh, search result so this code it will pick up the uh, the first one and it will download it uh, but uh, i i will you know try to add some customization so that you know you can pick exactly like which um, repo you want to download it from so for that like uh, i have to add check boxes so that is kind of little complex uh, uh, like uh, some uh, extension i have to develop uh, to you know uh, some some J javascript extension i think is required because uh, in python uh, there is no option to add uh, uh, check boxes and all so i'll do that and i can see now workflow is completed and uh, if i see like the unit folder also it is uh, you know the when uh, model is also you know downloaded and i you, you can see here uh, whatever models it is downloading so it will show you the uh, this thing the uh, update and uh, you can see there is one error as well like uh, if there is any error like if any model is not able to download so you can see uh, that error here as well so that's it guys for this video and you can check the uh, github repo i'll i'll give the give you the link so this is the github repo uh, this is the link so i'll uh, add the link on my video description as well so that's it guys for this video thank you bye bye